Yes, when I say spooky, I mean I have a ghost necklace and it lights up, but it is it is so bad because it makes me look like I have a blue underbeard. So I was hoping it would like light up like white. Oh my god, this one isn't even lit up. That's what I get for spending one dollar on this from Target. Anyways, how is everybody doing? I am doing well. I am ready to leave my job. I know I said that in the last episode, but like it couldn't be any more true than right now. Also, tomorrow is Halloween and I didn't really realize this um, until yesterday and I was on TikTok and I was like scrolling through looking at all of the different like, you know, costumes and everything that everybody's been wearing and all like the Halloween stuff. And I was like, holy shit, like I almost forgot it was Halloween just because, like, I don't drink anymore, right? Like, drinking was such a huge, like, thing for me, especially around holidays, like Halloween, Christmas, Thanksgiving. I got, I don't care. Memorial Day, Labor Day, like, any reason to drink, period. But Halloween is, like, like, you dress up and you, like, look hot and you get fucked up and, like, you get to pretend to be somebody, like, you're not for a night. And it was always so much fun. Like, I used to have a blast like I remember when I was 18 um one of my bosses that I like I worked at tilted kilt and one of my bosses sister-in-law came in and you know who you are you're a huge supporter of the podcast I love you forever but I'm not going to shut your name up because I do not ask permission but anyway I made like really good friends with her and obviously we're still friends to this day but we ended up all going out to like wild country which is this, like, I mean, if you know, you know. If you don't, you don't, right? Like, it's a country bar. And, you know, this bar every single year does, like, these huge, like, Halloween costume contests. And, like, people go out there and, like, strut their stuff and, like, whatever costume they're wearing. And, you know, they try to win money. I think this year, like, I saw on this girl's Snapchat who still goes there. She said it was, like, a $500, like, prize for best costume. I could not tell you what it was eight years ago, but I'm sure it was high. But anyway, I went with this girl I was friends with and this other guy um, to Wild Country for Halloween. And I remember, like, I didn't have, like, anything to wear because, like, I've never, like, I dressed up when I was younger. Yeah, but, like, I don't know. I just, I didn't really, I don't know. I was 18. I was like, I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to wear. So I remember I wore this, like, tutu and this like batman like one piece like thing and it was kind of slutty if i can find a picture of it i will post it um on instagram at sillies and sads uh because it was, it was ridiculous like when i tell you like i looked like thinking back on it i looked crazy but anyway it was so fucking crazy that night there were so many people like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people you had to pay like 20 bucks to get in because it was Halloween. Um, but back in the day, like on, what was it? Wednesdays, Thursdays, and I think Friday as women only had to pay like five bucks, maybe three. Like it was, it used to be really legit. But anyway, I, I remember there was this guy at the time that I was like messing around with, like poor mistakes. Well, I didn't know that he had a girlfriend and she was there that night and apparently she knew who I was, but I didn't know who she was. And I remember she like swung on me like in the middle of the bar. And I also remember somebody insulting somebody I was very close to and I literally jumped off a bar stool to fight them. But then one of my friends caught me and was like, whoa, chill out. So needless to say. Halloween has not always been my shining moment. I have not always made the best choices. Uh, one Halloween, I this was a couple years ago, I had gone out with my friend to this Halloween party. And I guess, like, I was living with these people. And 
one of their friends ended up coming out to this Halloween party. I invited them. Well, I didn't know he was like a fucking terrible drunk because I never drank with him. And unfortunately, that translated into him being a fucking creep when he drank, right? And obviously, I'm not defending anybody's behavior here. But a person I knew at this party, he kind of got in this guy's face and was like, get the fuck out. And I was, I was like, yeah, right. And I felt terrible because I invited him and he like made my friends feel super uncomfortable. So he went to where I lived and told them that I just kicked him out of this party for no fucking reason. And I let all of these people I knew like cuss at him and all this stuff. And they ended up kicking me out of their house. Like no explanation no nothing like just booted me. Right. And, like, it was super shitty. Like, I didn't have anywhere to go. Like, I'm fortunate that my mom let me, like, move back in. Or, yeah, I moved back in with my mom. And then I moved in with my friend shortly after. Um, But, yeah. So, that was, like, an awesome Halloween. I can insert a picture of that, though. I went as Poison Ivy. um, Because it was my, when my hair was red. And I wore this, like, very very revealing like bralette top and honestly I was feeling myself like I thought I was the shit and I remember I had like this like green contour on my face and I like hand painted this leaf up my arm like I will I will again I'll post pictures because like like it wasn't bad but like I was no artiste to say the least oh my god that rhymed I'm so cute sometimes, you guys. Anyway, and then this year, obviously I'm not drinking and I didn't do anything for Halloween weekend because I didn't even think about it. I did laundry and cleaned my house. Like that was pretty much it. Um, besides all of the lovely boxes you see behind me, um, I'm saving all of them for the move because why the fuck do I want to go to Home Depot and pay for a million boxes again? So this year for Halloween, Jake and I are going to pass out candy to trick-or-treaters, which I realize I've never fucking done that before, which is fucking crazy. Like, how have I never not once passed out candy to kids on Halloween? Like, as an adult. that I'm 26 years old. I'm, I'm really excited about it. I, Me and him both got these, like, different type of ghost t-shirts from Spencer's. And, I mean, mine's super cute. And I'm going to wear it to work tomorrow. And hopefully... I mean, not hopefully. I don't give a fuck if anybody likes it. I like it. I'm gonna look cute as hell, okay? Also, I would love to know what everybody's favorite, like, Halloween movie is. So if you want to leave that in the comments, that would be legit. I'm gonna tell you probably my top, we'll say top five, okay? So, and they're, it's not in any order. Like, I'm not gonna do, like, this is my number one. I'm just gonna list five movies that every year I watch and every year I love, okay? Obviously, Halloween Town, the OG one. I'm going to say Halloween Town and then Halloween Town 2. Those are, like, the best, obviously. But Halloween Town 1 is, like, my fave, like, out of the two. But I'm going to say that as one of the movies because it's, like it's, like, a franchise kind of thing or whatever. Like, there's more than one. So that's going to be one of them. Another one is Beetlejuice because like, obviously I love Beetlejuice. I used to watch that as like a comfort movie and Gina Davis. Oh, I love Gina Davis. If you guys don't know who the fuck Gina Davis is, Google it. Like seriously, she's the main character in fucking Beetlejuice. And no, not why not a writer. I know who she is too. But like all these amazing, this amazing cast, like uh, fucking Gina Davis, Alec Baldwin. I'm hoping before he was a creep. Uh, I know I've talked about it in other episodes about how Alec Baldwin's a creep, so it's funny. Full circle. Um, and then Winona Ryder and then Catherine O'Hara. I fucking love them. I love them so much. What's another one? I always end up going back to like Disney movies, like from when I was like growing up, like Twitches. Who the fuck remembers Twitches? Twitches was iconic. Like 10 out of 10 would recommend. What else do I like? Oh, I can tell you something that I watched for the first time this year. Halloween. Like those movies with Michael Myers. I've never fucking seen him. 
I don't know why I just hadn't. So I watched the first one and the second one. And then Jake and I watched the third one. And it's literally like Halloween 3 season of The Witch. Bro has nothing to fucking do with the Halloween franchise at all. Even a little bit. And it, it was just like, it was like so fucking weird. Like if you haven't watched it, honestly don't waste your time. Just watch the preview and you'll understand. And then we watched Halloween 4. And so we still have like a thousand more because I guess there's like 12 or 13 movies total in the Halloween franchise, which is fucking crazy. Like it's almost like the amount of Scream movies, which I also love. I watched one, two, three. I think I watched one through three when my bridesmaids were in town. We watched them all together. So fucking good. It was it was so nostalgic because I realized I hadn't like watched it in forever and also, I had this weird realization. So, Billy Loomis in Scream, right? In the first Scream. His last name, like I said, Loomis, right? In the OG Halloween movies, Dr. Loomis, which is the doctor who's like, Michael Myers is evil incarnate or whatever. Like, same name. And it's crazy because in the first Halloween, one of the guys talks about not Halloween, but in the first scream, they're watching Halloween and they talk about how, um, oh my God, what the fuck is her name? Jamie, whatever. Cause my brain now, honestly, I'll say Jamie Lynn Spears, but I know that's not it, but you guys know who I'm talking about that. Um, she's the original screen queen, like, and they were talking about like that movie and stuff and the doctor and everything like that. And they didn't, I like didn't It didn't click in my mind, but it's kind of like a, like a little hidden clue. What is it called? An Easter egg, right? Anyway, so Halloween has been interesting. It's not my favorite franchise, but it's not bad either. Like when I think of like, like spooky stuff that I really like, it's probably along the lines of like anything to do with witches or sorcery or vampires, like that's the ticket for me. Like, that's the shit that I'm like, oh, hell yeah. But that's also shit I watch in my everyday life. So it's kind of like, like my, like one of my favorite shows in the world is Charmed. And one of my other favorite shows in the world is Vampire Diaries. And then like the originals and stuff. Like, if you guys haven't watched that shit, like it is very like kitschy and like cliche and, but it's good, right? Also love the Twilight movies if you don't, like, like, Bella, where the hell have you been, Loka? You know what I mean? What other movies do I like for for Halloween? Like, I don't know why I'm blanking all of a sudden, because I've been watching nothing but Halloween movies. I watched Sleepy Hollow for the first time. That fucking movie was bomb. I don't know why I had never watched it before, but I really liked it. I love um, Nicole Ricci, right? Ricci? Nicole Ricci? I think it's Ricci. R-I-C-C-I. Um... She's so good. And she was amazing in the fucking reboot of Wednesday. So good. Love the Adams Family movies. Um, Adams Family and Adams Family Values. Those ones, obviously. Like, with Nicole Ricci when she was young Wednesday. Uh, what else? Oh, I'm really excited for the new Beetlejuice to come out. The one with Jenny, Jenna Ortega and Winona Ryder. Like, Jenna Ortega, really, she just... She just did the damn thing. Like, she came out running. She came out swinging. She just... She gets it. Some movies I used to watch when I was younger that, like, scared the shit out of me. Uh, Amityville Horror, the one with Ryan Reynolds. Obviously. I don't know why. I just remember watching that movie with my mom. And she would fall asleep on the couch. Because my mom always used to fall asleep when we were watching TV. It's one of the things I love most about her. Um... And I was like laying with her on the couch and I was like hiding behind her watching this movie. Oh, it was so scary. And then um, there was, is it Hide and Seek? I think. And her like imaginary friend's name is Charlie. And I want to say it has um, Tom Hanks in it. Tom Hanks or Bill Murray. I literally get them confused, but I'm pretty sure. Or maybe it's John Cusack. See, this is why I need to research before I start recording and rambling because my ass doesn't fucking know. Man, I'm really stumped on that one. Anyways, 
So I really want you guys to tell me like what your favorite like scary movie is. Like how cliche. Don't we love that? But seriously, like, or what do you guys believe in? What do you like to celebrate? Do you dress up for Halloween? Do you, are you just more chill? Like you just enjoy the vibes? Like today, it's the day before Halloween. It's like 38 degrees outside right now. And it's all rainy and shit, which like nothing better. Nothing in the world is better to me. Like, do you see how cozy I am? Like cozy, comfy in my little, like my little knit sweater. Like, mm, mm. Also, I, wa- I rewatched Shit's Creek, so I'm I'm feeling the uh, Alexis vibes. But yeah, guys, I think that's gonna be it for my little spooky little episode. I love you all so freaking much, and again, let me know what Halloween stuff you like to do, or if you don't celebrate Halloween, like do you celebrate something instead, or do you just like the atmosphere and the vibes? You know, let me know. My email is sillysensize at gmail dot com, as you guys well know, and then. All my handles on TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, it's all at Sillies and Sads. Okay, bye. Okay. What? Okay, bye, guys. (laughs) Happy Halloween.